it's rare to find a really powerful small SUV with all its power directed through its front wheels. But that's what we have here in the rather dynamic shape of Hyundai's Kona N. Ford's Puma ST is the only other class contender that takes a similar approach, but this fast Kona also has in its sights four-wheel drive segment performance models like the Audi SQ2 and the Volkswagen t rock R. With 280 PS on tap and a track-tamed team behind this Hyundai, the prospects are intriguing. With this wild variant, much has been borrowed from Hyundai's well-regarded i30N hot hatch, including that car's 2.0-litre TGDI turbo petrol unit, in this case tuned to 280 PS. Uh, obvious rivals like Audi's SQ2 and Volkswagen's t rock R believe four-wheel drive is necessary to control that kind of output, but the Kona N uh, directs it through its front wheels via an 8-speed DCT paddle shift auto gearbox, which incorporates launch control so that um, in dry conditions at least, it'll fire you to 62 miles an hour in just 5.5 seconds. That's on the way to 149 miles an hour, or to the rorty melody of the standard active exhaust. But those stats don't really deliver the full story here. Uh, for that, you'll have to have properly programmed what lies behind these blue steering wheel buttons. The left-hand one activates Hyundai's usual eco, normal and sport modes. The right-hand one is an instant way of accessing the fieriest N mode, and beyond that, the two N custom settings, which can be programmed on the central screen as you would in a BMW M car. Selecting your favorite presets for engine, steering, transmission, uh, the E LSD limited slip differential, and the ESC stability system. System. Plus, you can also alter the bassy note of that big bore exhaust, and you can sharpen up gear shifts with selectable N power shift and N track sense settings. It's all brilliant. Get all that right, and you'll get yourself a really engaging tarmac tool. Uh, the steering sharp grip from the bespoke Pirelli rubber is prodigious and there's enough traction here to make the most of the 2 litre TGDI motor, although it is really easy to spin the wheels away from rest if you're not careful with your right foot. Pedal feel from the end performance braking system is great and body roll is kept well in check by the stiff chassis and that's been reinforced to suit this end model's higher performance remit. Well, it looks the part, doesn't it? Even the engine gets N-Turbo branding and the bodywork gets lots of body-coloured design elements with N-exclusive red accents. From the side you'll notice the lowered ride height, the smart N-branded lower side sills and the black-framed glass house with its black roof rails. And of course the exaggerated arches housing big wheels. These are dark satin painted 18 inches with red N-branded calipers peeping through the spokes. You'd also want overtaking presence with a car like this, and the Kona N certainly provides that, with large air openings needed to cool the powerful N-tuned engine. The leading edge of the bonnet uh, gets these slim Audi-style uh, nostril outlets, flanked by LED daytime running light slivers. At the rear, this large double-wing roof spoiler dominates the view, incorporating a triangular third brake light. Uh, lower down, the rear bumper's almost taken over by this large ribbed diffuser, which enhances the airflow departure and minimizes turbulence. It incorporates two huge tailpipes, one in each lower quarter. Inside, this cabin is full of serious statements of intent, like this firmly contoured blue stitched steering wheel with its silver paddle shifters, its blue Enmo paddles, and prominent red N grin shift button, and the N sport seats with faux leather and suede upholstery, which grip you properly around the nether regions. All the performance detailing you'd want is present and correct too a perfectly positioned blue striped gear lever, race style silver pedals, and blue stitching to decorate the handbrake and the gear shift gaiter. Uh, fans of fast, small shopping rockets will love all that, but not perhaps quite as much as what they'll find on the two 10.25 inch screens which dominate the dash. Prod the right hand blue N wheel paddle and the digital supervision cluster transforms 
from a twin dial display into a single ref counter gauge to the rather chintzy accompaniment of a fiery ring and the complementing centre console display monitor in the middle of the fascia has an end mode section with a home screen for serious drive info or you can swipe across to custom screens which allow you to tailor responses for engine, steering, suspension, transmission, the ELSD limited slip differential, the ESC stability system and exhaust sound plus you can activate launch control 2 for Grand Prix getaways and select from a further menu of performance options. It's brilliant. Let's switch to the rear seat, which doesn't do anything clever like slide or recline, but which by small SUV standards isn't too bad for the carriage of two folk, providing they're not especially lanky of leg. If they are, then compromises will have to be made by the front seat occupants to accommodate them. Let's finish with a few words on boot space. Uh, the tailgate is light to lift and it reveals the same 374 litre luggage area you'll get in the ordinary Kona. That's 82 litres less than you'd find in a rival Ford Puma ST. Push forward the 6040 split folding rear seat and you'll reveal a relatively flat loading area with as much as 1143 litres of total fresh air if you load up to the roof. The Kona N usefully widens Hyundai's N performance brand, sitting alongside the full fat N versions of the i20 and the i30. The sheer limitations of high sided SUVness restricted what Albert Biermann and his Nurburgring based engineers could do here, but it's still some achievement to have brought 280 PS to the table, directed it through the front wheels, and made the car in question handle with engagement. We'd still prefer a proper hot hatch, but if you have to have a small SUV and it has to be this powerful, then the Kona N is worth a look. It probably won't have been on your performance small car shopping list, but it is a credible contender and it'll look great down at the gym. <laughs>